Hello, Mike from Greenway. I wanted to go through some battery statistics on these two vehicles, both of these electric vehicles. The one on the back is a 2012 Nissan Leaf, the black one, and the burgundy one is a 2016 Nissan Leaf. Both of these vehicles have been recharged over 6,000 times in their lifetime and they still have their original batteries. So let's take a look at their battery condition and statistics and see where things are at after that many recharges, over 6,000 recharges. Okay, so let's take a look at these two vehicles. This one's the 2016, so we'll look at that one second. And we have this 2012 that has been recharged over 6,000 times. So let's crawl in there and take a look at the battery information and see what it can tell us. Okay, so we're in the 2012 Nissan Leaf. And for those of you who have uh, watched other videos on my channel, you've seen a couple of videos about this car where we're doing some rain testing and that sort of thing. But today we're going to take a look at the battery condition. And on this particular one, um, on the dashboard, Nissan does give you a little indicator to tell you how well the long-term battery longevity is. And it's right over here on the side. These little dots that you see along here, uh, starting with these two little red dots. So we've got two red dots and we have six white dots. Uh, that tells you how much longevity we have in the battery right now and so anyone looking at one of these vehicles considering purchasing they just have to look at those and you can see what the battery condition is and the uh, car keeps track of that and as it ages it changes the number of dots so in this case we've got eight and it originally started with 12 so that means the car is telling you that it's eight out of 12 battery bars remaining and it's completely normal for the battery to slowly lose range as it as it uh, gets older and it goes through more uh, use and so in this case with this one that's been recharged more than 6,000 times it's now gone down to 8 out of 12 battery bars but that still is quite usable and and uh, you can check my other videos where I did a range test on it and I got 92 kilometers still in this vehicle at uh, moderate speeds but more importantly what we can also do is hook up a scanner to the car through the OBD2 port the onboard diagnostics port and get more information out of the car and that is through an app called Leaf Spy so I have it on this old Android device here so what we've got right now is it hook up it's hooked up to this car and uh, if you look at the top there it says battery stats amp hour 39.75 so that's the amount of battery capacity remaining in the vehicle which is maybe not too meaningful to us but the next one there where it says soh that's more meaningful so it's 60.59 percent so that's state of health so that means it's 60 percent 60.59 percent of its original battery capacity from brand new so if you think of this 12 year old car that's been recharged and and also it, this thing also shows you how many recharges it's done so if we go two lines down and it has the odometer there 159,000 kilometers which is just under 100,000 miles 85 QC's which is quick charges that's the high speed level three charges and it's done 6,578 level one and level two charges. that's the the key one that I was mentioning here earlier so that means someone has plugged this car in 6,578 times during its life and it's been recharged that many times. Uh, now, I should specify that doesn't mean it was charged from dead empty to full. That simply meant someone plugged it into the wall at some point. And, uh, you know, so you can plug in the car at any point in time. So where it says 43 kilometers on the right-hand side there, it guesses we have 43 kilometers left. And those blue larger bars indicate how much uh, charge the car has currently out of 12 bars. So right now it has seven out of 12 bars uh, currently on the charge. But if we look at the scanner here again, it says SOC, which is right here, 65%. So it's currently showing a 65% charge level in the battery right now. And for those of you who are interested in more stats here, just above that it says temp C. So that's temperature in degrees Celsius. There's four different monitors on the battery temperature. So it's 21.5 Celsius, 22, 21, 22. So it's about 21 or 22 Celsius, which is about 74 Fahrenheit. And the other thing you can look at as well is these blue bars and the red bars show you the individual voltages of the individual cell. Uh, cells in the battery and what you want is 
a well-balanced battery. That means all the cells, you want them to be fairly close in charge level to each other. So this number that keeps changing up here, it says 14 millivolts. It was saying 17 before, 12. What that is, is it's showing you the difference between the highest cell voltage and the lowest cell voltage and subtracting those two. And it's in millivolts, so it's one thousandth of a volt. So when it says point, uh, so when it says 14, it's 0 0.014 millivolts uh, or, or volts difference. Uh, so what, and what I'm saying here is that the, the voltages in this battery are very well balanced. So even though it's got some age to it, the battery cells are very, very close in uh, voltages to each other. So that's on car number one. So let's take a walk over here now to the next car and see what that one says. Okay, we're in the second vehicle now. This is the 2016 and the instrument cluster is basically the same, but we can still count those battery bars on the right hand side. And you can see that there's two, four, six, seven whites and two reds. So there's a total of nine out of 12 battery bars on this one. So it's kind of similar. And uh, this one has lower mileage. It's 122,000 kilometers, which is um, around 80,000 miles. Um, and the other one had close to 100,000 miles or 159,000 kilometers. So this one's got slightly higher battery. And as well, this did have a higher uh, battery capacity when new as well it had a 30 kilowatt hour battery the other one had a 24 but in this case uh, the the dots on the side there were counting those nine dots it's still nine out of 12 the other one had eight out of 12 and it was they're both starting with 12 out of 12 when we started but now let's take a look at the leaf spy information so let's start at the top here again so this one, the amp hours is 53. The other one you might remember is 39, but now remember this one did start with a bigger battery. SOH, state of health is 67%. So this is 67% out of 100. Um, so this one has also uh, gone down somewhat since new. And then when we look there at the number of charges it's done, uh, you can see two QCs, which is those quick charge level three DC fast charges. Uh, it's almost almost not in this two in its whole lifetime and then it's on 5719 uh, recharges so that's when someone just plugged it into the wall into an ac outlet whether it's a 120 or 240 and again like i said with the other one it doesn't necessarily mean it was charged from empty to full it was just someone plugging it in so they could have and most of the time they would have plugged it in when it's not empty or even close to empty then as well we can look at our cell balances and this one is also balancing right around the same as the other one around 13 14 17 millivolts so very close in cell uh, balances and uh, currently our state of charge is 86 percent which is just how much charge we have in the car at the moment so it's uh, that really that number will change constantly out throughout the day as you drive the car these other ones up here the soh that one will only change occasionally when the car's computer will recalculate it for you so also the temperature of the battery is similar to the other one 21.2 uh, degrees in celsius so very close uh, and by the way i didn't mention over here but right beside the little flash uh, light or light bulb that's the 12 volt battery which is being maintained by the big battery um, so it's just showing the voltage of the overall system so that is the data for these two cars so let's talk about the comparison between them. So the question is, what have we learned about these cars that have both been recharged around 6,000 times? And I should say before I keep going, both of them have their original batteries in them from when they were built. The black one was from 2012. That one's been recharged 6,578 times, including the quick charges. Sorry, 6,663. And the other one, including the couple of quick charges, was 5,721. So if we're looking at older electric vehicles and worrying about the battery capacity and the battery condition, yes, these ones both have declined in battery. 
uh, condition, the 2012 is down to 60.59% of original capacity and the other one was down to 67.11%. So that is a decline. However, it doesn't mean they're suddenly useless and unusable. The cars can certainly be continue to be used. And if we look at, interestingly enough, the number of kilometers or miles that these vehicles have traveled per charge, uh, it's only uh, it's only a small number. So really, they've been charged more often than they should have been charged, theoretically. The 2012 was every 23.9 kilometers or 14.9 miles. And the 2016 was recharged every 21.4 kilometers or 13.3 miles. But they can certainly go longer per charge. But probably what was happening is the person who was driving it didn't need to go any further. And when they got home, they just plugged it in and then they drove it again the next day. So they're probably their average that they were driving every day was around that 20 kilometers or 15 miles, which was their average driving, which means that those cars are still because they're able to still continue to go at least 40, 50 miles per charge or 60 to 80 kilometers per charge. So the, the newer one has a bigger battery, so it's going to go further. They're still quite usable in their capacity. But it is interesting to see how similarly the two batteries have degraded based on the quantity of uh, charges or, or if you consider the number of charge cycles they've gone through. So one might suggest that it would be good to not recharge your car as frequently as these ones have been. Uh, there are some other cars that have fewer charge cycles on them and they may have uh, better uh, battery retention. Uh, I think what's happened here, and you know, tell me what you th your thoughts are. I think with both of these cars, they were charged frequently and they often sat fully charged for long periods of time. So if you think of that scenario where that person has gone uh, only 20 or 30 kilometers in a day or 15 to 20 miles, and then they get home and they plug it in when they get home at 6 p.m. and then they don't leave for work again until 8 a.m. the next day. Well, it's probably, it's only gonna take an hour to recharge it, if, especially if you have a higher speed charger. And then it's gonna sit for 12 hours fully recharged. Um, and that's not great for the, the battery longevity. Um, so my suggestion would be if you do have a longer range vehicle and you're not utilizing the battery capacity very fully that you could wait a few days before recharging it. Anyway, I know lots of you here on the channel have cars like this, the Nissan Leaf. I'm curious to know what your charge pattern is. Do you recharge every day? Do you recharge every second or third day? And I know it's gonna depend on the size of your battery and also the number of uh, you know, the miles or kilometers you're driving every day. But I think it's just interesting to look at the statistics on these ones where they've got some age on them. So if you found this video interesting or informative, I'd appreciate it if you can give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. And thanks so much for watching and have a great day.